Welcome in today's episode of our weekly vlog. In case you're new here, we're Natalie and Michael, your local explorers, currently discovering Europe and its gems. This time we're gonna show you how impressive the Milan Cathedral is, how does the biggest Starbucks in Europe looks like, and where to have the best drinks in Milan. But let's start with our beautiful hotel where we stayed in the center of Milan during our trip. Yes, so we are after a delicious breakfast and we are heading to do something very special right now because it was so high on our bucket list to sit warmer from the top so we were deciding like from which spot we're gonna sit and guess what one? We are going to the rooftop of the cathedral of the Duomo of Milan so I'm yeah. super excited. Let's get grab some things. Oh, maybe we can do a quick room tour. So we have a room at the third floor, which is really calm and without any noises. At the entrance, there is a lot of space to storage the luggage and to hang the clothes. Just right next to the door, there is a lovely bathroom equipped with everything from towels through shower cream, soaps, lotion to hair dryer. It's all cozy renovated and super clean. Then we continue to the main room, which is huge. In the middle, there is such a comfortable bed, then tiny desk with a chair and even an armchair. Also the TV, mini bar, lovely kitchen desk just to enjoy your cup of tea or your favorite snacks. Okay, so just to give you an overall idea where we are staying, it's just about, I don't know, maybe one or two minutes walk and look yes. where we just came. Woo, <laughs> I mean, main square. Yeah, it's pretty amazing because we can just you know, grab our essentials anytime we want to. Yeah, we are going light right now yeah. as we are going for a tour and we didn't want to take our backpacks or so on. Oh, I'm super excited. I don't know, it looks a little bit like it's gonna rain, but whatever, we'll see. Yeah, but actually this light is quite nice because yeah. we will not get the sun in our eyes that drastically. Oh yeah, that's true actually. Yeah. No, no, Let's it will see. be fine. To experience Milan from above, the Duomo is really something magical especially in the morning when the city is slowly waking up. For your visit, we recommend you to book your tickets online in advance. Opening hours and prices variate, so it's always better to check their official website. So we just get out of the elevator and somehow we ended up on the roof of the Duomo. And let's find the view! There are actually two options how you can get there and it's a different tour. You can either book the road with uh, stairs or you can get here by elevator as we did. Yeah, and there are a lot of constructions around and the tour guide actually told us that they will never disappear. I mean, because they are cleaning the Duomo from the pollution and once they end up cleaning from the one side, they can just move and clean the other one. So that's pretty interesting. And it's already amazing to walk here and I'm, I think that we'll go even higher. The Milan Cathedral is dedicated to the nativity of St. Mary. It took nearly six centuries to complete. The construction began in 1386 and the final details were completed in 1965. The cathedral is one of the largest church in the world. They say there are more statues on this gothic style cathedral than on any other building in the world. There are around 3,500 statues and figures that decorate the Duomo. 
You can also see the famous Madonnina, the gold-colored statue of Holy Mary that stands on the cathedral's highest spire and looks over the city, asserting her role as a protector of all people. We've just finished the tour of Duomo and I mean one thing is the rooftop and the terrace but the whole other thing is the Duomo itself. It's so huge, obviously it looks huge from outside, but when you go inside it's just crazy. I mean, I'm super overwhelmed and also in the meantime the main square is really getting crowded. I mean, we spent, I don't know, maybe two, two hours, hours there. there. Yeah. I mean, when you go inside the cathedral you start thinking how they could build such a thing. Yeah, like yeah, in, in exactly. that fast. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty impressive. It was actually a very peaceful experience, I would say. And we were the first ones actually going on the roof as the tickets uh, we scheduled for 9 a.m. Uh, and I think it was a very good idea. Yeah, because it was already getting crowded a little bit. And obviously, I think for the sunset, it's much more busy than it was now. Yes. And also like in, inside in, in the church, it's kind of divided into the part where you know, like the visitors go and then the other part where they serve the liturgy. Okay, hope Italians won't consider this as a root act going to the Starbucks in Italy, but I mean this one is really special. Actually, Italy really resists from this chain and having it in its country. But in 2018, in Italy, the first Starbucks ever opened and they decided to go big or go home. So right now we are standing in front of the old post building, which was converted to the biggest Starbucks in Europe, which is pretty impressive. We are going to have a look inside, how does it look? And I believe it's the only one where you can really like go inside and have a look how the coffee is made and prepared so you can drink it. So we need 45 grams of coffee with, um, in this case, paper grind. The first time we have to pour a little bit of the water so our amazing camera Chemex become a little bit hot. And also for the paper filter because you know that sometimes the paper filter well, I, I don't like the, um, the paper testing, yeah? Okay. So without water you can remove it, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we have to turn our balance. Zero. Yes. Yeah, amazing. So, we have to turn one more time. The first step, we say the blooming. It is about 19 grams. We say blooming because you can see the first bubble oh, wow. and you can smell the first flowers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Usually in the roaster we have one um, blend for every campaign and different mono region coffee. We have only six locations like that in the world. Uh, the first one is Seattle, Shanghai, New York, Milan is the only one in Europe, Chicago is the biggest. And we use coffee for the reserve store because now Starbucks have three different concepts. The classic core store with the Siren brand. And yeah, now I can stop. 320 I can stop for the second step. The roastery like this where we roast coffee for the reserve store. The reserve store of the, the same brand but only have the um, this corner, the main bar, only with the experience bar, different brew method. And this one is the third step. I have to stop 
720 for our standard. The, the big difference from the press, you can see when you make the coffee press, the French press, at on the top we have a little bit, we say oil. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because okay. we don't use the paper yeah. uh, filter. Mm -hmm. okay. We use the paper filter after the coffee becomes like caramel, so ah. beautiful for the eyes. And now we have only to wait. <laughs> Usually, we have to, the coffee has to stop on the top of this. How do you like it so far? It's amazing. It's like a whole science about it. Oh, this you mm -hmm. can see it. Ah, this is why you it's do the, the first steps. coffee that yeah, it's the first coffee that we we brew, and after we come in the center. Okay, in the end we have to move like this. So you can mix the first extraction and the second extraction. Yeah. It's like a um, decanter for the wine. Yeah? If you want, you can smell. Oh, yeah. You remember that I speak about caramel, yeah? Oh, <laughs> I speak about yeah. this. Okay. I remember, for me, remember the caramel. So, this was the best decision ever. I mean, it's like a whole experience, not just drinking a coffee. I mean, the guy, it's called Max, and he explained everything so well. I really love this. We told him that we, we drink a lot of coffee actually, but we don't take it as experience. But I, I think after this we really should start yeah, to... I mean, he explained everything so well while he was preparing it just in front of us. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah, so let's, let's, try let's taste it. So we ended up having a lunch at the hotel where we are staying at because we are creating some content over there and the manager invited us for lunch in their Argentinian restaurant and it's such a special place. We really love the food. I went for a typical local dish, a risotto milanese and Michael had meat or I don't know what you I had a... I had a steak from Argentina actually. They have all the meat shipped here. Yeah. So, and it was really good. Medium well steak, what I had. Yeah, and the, like they really take care of the food. So it's really like the products are really in a good quality. It's fully booked. So if you want to camp, we really highly recommend a reservation before. And we also had a few cocktails on the bar and it's really an amazing place. And right now we've decided we are going to fall to a Navigli district. For me this city really lives and it looks like everybody's rushing a bit. And also the public transport you see it on every corner. We as well there is a subway which also helps a lot to travel in between the districts. Yeah, I mean, it's really easy to get around Milan, I would say. And of course, also, you could spend much more than just three days. But, like, if you are staying in the city center, like, you have everything in the walk distance, I would say. So, you can easily enjoy, let's say, weekend or extended weekend just around the city center because there are so many things to do. As we said today, we had a big lunch, I would say. We're not rushing with a dinner yet, but what we said also to you guys, we want to try each day a new gelato shop and we're just about to arrive to the next one for this day. So let's see how what ice cream they have and how it tastes. Okay, so today I went for a lime one yeah, in a cup because yesterday it melted a bit. Mm. Mm, yeah. It's really delicious. Also yeah, this one I have. so rich and soft at the same time. Exactly. I really love this taste. For me, I, I went for a fragola or the strawberry. And it is a sorbet, but also very like heavy uh -huh. and creamy. But yeah, it, it sticks well. It doesn't melt as fast as it yesterday. And I like it so much, actually. Mm, strong. Yeah, for me, this is 9 of 10. Strong flavor, yeah. For me, yes, also. So if we compare the last episode, we've seen each other, the main park in the Milan to the Central Park, 
then I would compare Navidly district to the Brooklyn. It has something, I don't know, vibrant and unique. Yeah, you f really feel like you, there's either like students or locals here. You see like small local shops and bicycles and this canal which flows literally through the city. It's very calm. Uh, the level is very low. I, I seen the, the fishes in a, about half a meter I'm only. Here. Yeah, I did. Actually, I was wondering, oh, the fishes are here because it's prohibited to fish. But then in like in a two minutes, I saw two guys yeah. fishing. From the bridge. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's cool that you can fish in, in, a, in, in a Milan. City, yeah. Yes, and then also there were people on a canoas paddling, like a club, I would say. Once somebody is walking along the canal and is uh, looking for the bar, there is plenty of options. We hop into the famous Mag Cafe, it's called, it's kind of iconic around here. And it was such an incredible experience, I have to say. I mean, they see it as on a bar and actually I would say it was the place because the barman was so nice and explained yeah. us the history. It is called Mag Cafe because the bar before that was full of magazines. Yeah. Yeah, they have so many different drinks and it holds such a vibe of also like the menu of the drinks is made kind of like a comic style. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thank you guys for being with us today and hopefully we see each other in the next episode. The last one from Milan. We'll see you next Sunday. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye-bye.